Hey everybody, welcome to Vacuum Wars and to another carpet cleaner comparison. This time I'm looking at the Hoover Power Scrub Deluxe and the Hoover Power Scrub Elite. They are very similar models in most ways, but some slight differences in the design make the Elite version more expensive than the Deluxe version. This week I put them both through all kinds of tests to see which one I thought was the best and which one was the best value. And not only did I find that one of these seems to be an obvious choice over the other, I also found at least one reason to prefer the Hoover Power Scrub series in general over just about any other style of carpet cleaner. So links in the description to everything I'll mention, and let's get started. In many ways, these two carpet cleaners are exactly the same. For example, they operate the same way by pouring the included solution on one side of the tank and water on on the other side. It's designed to be very easy to maneuver like a vacuum cleaner. You can clean with both the forward push and the backward pull using the water solution mix as needed as it sucks up the dirty water into the dirty water tank. During this process, the unique spin scrub brushes rotate at a high RPM to scrub the carpet clean. They both come with a hose that you can attach to the cleaning head, and you can use various attachments to clean upholstery or stairs or tough stains. I tested their suction in various ways and in various places on the unit, and came to the conclusion that they probably have the exact same 10 amp motor, because other than a slight variation in the unsealed test, they were virtually identical in terms of raw power. I did a number of stain tests, starting with a dried on stain test, where I take Georgia red clay, grape juice, V8 juice, and coffee, work them into medium pile carpet, and let them dry overnight. I started off with just two back and forth passes and found that they were about the same. And after four additional passes the next day, they were also about the same, which of course is to be expected since they have the same motor, same brushes, and same basic construction. I also tested their pickup ability with wet stains using one cup of grape juice. They did an excellent job with this test, really seeming to suck up the moisture from the bottom of the carpet very effectively. One thing is that I accidentally used crayon grape juice juice with the Hoover Elite versus 100% grape juice on the Deluxe, which is a much harder stain to remove, and so the results of this test in terms of stain removal were a little bit skewed toward the Elite, where I would expect them to probably tie here as well if all things had been equal. They both come with the same 8-foot hose, but they do come with different attachments, and it's important to read the descriptions where you're buying it because the attachment packages can vary depending on the store. The more expensive one, the Elite, came with a 2-in-1 tool where you can change out the regular bristles for rubberized ones, which are easier to clean for nasty messes, as well as another wider tool with regular fixed bristles. The deluxe version came with two standard fixed bristle tools and a crevice tool. I bought mine from Walmart, and so it came with an additional tool called a 360 spin brush, which has a motorized spinning brush on it. I tested these attachments in various ways, with wet stains and a series of dry stains, and my takeaway was that here again they were pretty much the same. They both clean really good if you scrub hard enough. The one thing I thought would be a big difference, the 360 spin brush, really wasn't that big of a deal because in my opinion, in order to get it to clean as good as the others, you have to put as much pressure on it as you do the others. So it kind of defeats the purpose of having an automated scrubber. They have the same cord length at 20 feet. They have the same cleaning path width at about 10 and a quarter inches, depending on how you measure it. They both have the so-called heat force, which blows hot air on the carpet to help with with dry times. They both have a switch on the clean water tank to effectively shut off the cleaning solution from being used, so you can use just water, which is a nice feature, and they both have a two-year warranty. Moving on to the differences. Really, there are surprisingly few things besides the price and the tools that we've already mentioned. The two biggest differences are that the Elite version has a bigger tank, 1.25 gallons versus only one gallon on the Deluxe. Also, the Elite has a switch for quick clean mode where it uses less water. In this mode, you can cover a much larger area without having to empty and refill the tanks, and drying time on the carpet would also be much shorter because it uses less water. Hoover said the carpet would dry in about 45 minutes in that mode, compared to about 12 hours or so for the regular deep clean mode. But really, drying times depend on how much water you choose to use with the trigger pressed versus how much water you suck up when the trigger is not pressed. Before I move on to my conclusions, I wanted to explain why I said I found a reason to choose the Hoover Spinwave series over other types of carpet cleaners that use traditional spinning brush rollers to scrub carpets, and that is because of longer pile carpets and rubber 
rugs. A few weeks ago, I was testing another carpet cleaner and I set up a test with a long pile carpet and it just didn't work out. It immediately got tangled and it started smelling like burnt rubber in the room. So I put that test aside for later to see if any other carpet cleaners could do it. Both the Hoover Spin Scrubs were able to clean the stains on that long pile carpet with no tangles. This is probably because of the way their brushes spin, more horizontally than vertically. So if you have longer carpets or rugs, the Spin Scrub series is one of the only choices I know of at the moment for that purpose. So the bottom line for me is this. I like the Spin Scrubs from Hoover. They are simple, they're really cheap, they're easy to hook up the hose, very versatile. I really think they are both a good value, but it seems to me that the cheaper one, the Deluxe, is a much better value than the Elite. The extra capacity water tank and the quick clean mode are really the only differences and to me are not worth the sometimes large price difference between the two, especially considering there's no major advantage in terms of the attachments either. I'm working towards a big carpet cleaning competition and we'll have more to say about how these compare to other brands, but it will be several weeks down the road. In the meantime, check the links in the description and be sure to subscribe to Vacuum Mores before you leave. Thanks for watching.